do a 12C BPM tutorial, the first thing you will have to do is to install JDeveloper 12C with BPM. Go to the BPM Suite download page, accept the license, and download the file. It will ask you to sign in. You need an Oracle account to do this. If you don't have one, then you can create a free Oracle account. Once you've downloaded the zip file, you can extract it and you should see a folder and you should see two files in there. We're going to run the installer from the command prompt. So open the command prompt as administrator. Let's navigate to the folder where we have extracted our zip file. You're going to need Java 7 update 55 or later to install this. We're going to use Java to launch the installer from the FMW1213 BPM quick start .jar file. Once the installer is up, click on installation location. Select an empty folder on your machine as your Oracle home. And click next. And make sure your prerequisite checks are good. Click next. Review the information and click on install. Once the installation is complete, click on next. You can check start JDeveloper and click on finish. When JDeveloper starts up, it will ask you to choose the role that you want to start it up as. Choose Studio Developer and you might want to check this off so that it doesn't ask you again. Click OK. Once JDeveloper is up, go up to Window, click on Application Servers. And let's open that. Because this is the first time we're starting up JDeveloper and we've not used the integrated WebLogic server yet. It says domain unconfigured. So click on that and click on start server instance. JDeveloper will now create the default domain for the integrated WebLogic server. Let's take the default administrator ID and create a password. I'm going to leave everything else as a default. You can click on technologies to see what technology templates are included in this domain. So we have SOA, BPM and several others. Let's go back to configuration and click OK. Now this will take a little while and once the domain is created and the server has started up completely, you should see SOA platform is running and accepting requests. 